Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this and they want some outline between the letters and the hoops. But what I've been starting to do lately is one, I'm going to hit F4 on the keyboard and there's something else there that shouldn't be there because only this should show up. I'm going to go to view in wireframe. Look at that. A bunch of trash that would give you maybe problems. That off the board, off the page, maybe not. But look at that right there. Let's go to object, group, ungroup. Let's go to object, break the apart and get rid of that. So now let's go back to enhance view. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to hit F4. And now I've only got that logo in there. Uh, the one I'm doing the video for, if you set this at zero, zero, your life will be a lot easier. This thing is less than four inches, so we're going to set our nudge distance to four. And we're going to take the V, we're going to nudge it out of the way, and the family and nudge it out of the way. I am going to left click, right click, left click, right click, and I'm going to take this word, and I'm going to go to object, and, or excuse me, effects, and contour, I'm going to contour 0 0.02 to the outside. 0 0.02 to the outside. Don't need the contour tool anymore. We need to break the contour apart. I find it easier to break one at a time. Try to, and see, I, I accidentally moved that, so move it back. There's our real letter. There's our contoured letter. You have to select it all the time break contour apart. I'm trying to get the dark letters. So now I can take both feet and I'm going to fill them in with black and take away the outline. Now we can work with these letters. And several ways you could do this. We really just want, if we take the virtual segment delete key, delete right now, we lose the whole line. So what I'm going to do is take our letters back and I'm actually going to left click, right click and move them back. Now, and there's a lot of ways you could do this, but I'm going to do this zoomed in and I'm going to grab the virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete that line between those two letters. Okay. Now it doesn't look real good right now, but we're going to fix that. And then I'm going to take down here and delete this line. There's actually two lines there between those two. Now, if we go up here and I need, to, I'm going to hold down the alt key and select both those lines. And I'm going to go to object. I'm going to ungroup them. I'm going to go to object. I don't really want to make them an object. Let me see if we can do one at a time. Break curve apart is what I wanted. Now we're going to move that one out of the way and see the missing part. So now we're going to move that over and there, that one's not missing yet. Now I can hit this line because we broke the, the curve apart and I can just delete that line that went through there. You know what? I didn't break the curve apart on the other one. So now I can just delete that line that went through there and then nudge our lines back over. Now, if we take away the red contour and fill this in with black, you have the separation of those lines. Do the same thing on the family. Uh, maybe even, you know, think about, you know, this one would particularly work. It's going to be a little messy right there. Um, I say messy, uh, you'd want a flat, you know, maybe move it to like right there where both the lines go through a solid surface. And maybe I'll just go ahead and do this one. And unless that changes your look and you don't like that. But if you will take and delete that line between the two contours and go all the way down to the, the bottom one and see what I said about messy that's going to be a little messy right there, I think, because it might it work. So now we can nudge that over, 
select that, go up to object, and break the curve apart, and delete it. If you see it, do that, and it selects everything, because you haven't broken the curve apart. Now, there's a lot of ways we could have done this, but that's probably the easiest. And it looks pretty cool, and you didn't mess up your leaves. It's a pretty good drawing. Um, you know, you might want to reconsider what I did. And remember when we broke these off, it kind of had a ugly stop to it. Well, the, that was only because of the contour line, and now it doesn't. Now, with that said, your font might have changed because I didn't have these fonts. And yeah, I had that one. Well, maybe I did have them, but uh, if you're if it looks different, I might have. Uh, when I, if I don't have your font, then Corel will take over and pick a font close to it. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.